All right, guys, there's a lot of speakers out there when it comes to outdoor installation, uh, even indoor, and there's commercial and there's consumer grade, uh, all weather, speakers meant to be under eaves or under protection and things, and it can get really confusing. I know when I started uh, doing a lot of speaker installs and, and sound reinforcement, trying to figure out what you would want to use when uh, and the differences between them could be a real challenge. So behind me, I've got a small selection of some consumer, some uh, commercial grade, and then a couple that are kind of in between. And I'd like to go over the differences between these and generally what you would use them for. So we'll start off with this speaker right here. This is a five and a half inch speaker uh, made by OSD Audio, sold through Outdoor Speaker Depot. Um, and this is the general speaker that you're going to find in most kind of commercial, most residential, uh, under eaves and things. This is probably what you're gonna see. They're very, very simple. Most of these are like an eight ohm runoff of a home audio receiver. Um, or a general amplifier, and they put out really great sound for their size, uh, they throw sound nicely, and they're a great all-purpose general speaker. Now, this one um, actually has a transformer built in. That's kind of the bridge where it crosses between a commercial grade and a consumer grade, um, or at least a, a lower end consumer grade. Some of the higher end consumer grade uh, higher end consumer installs may use 70 volt, but they're really leaning more toward a commercial install at that point. Uh, now this, we'll start off with that where it has a transformer built in um, under this little cover right here for kind of weatherproofing. Um, you're gonna find your terminals and then this little dial. And with this dial, you can select whether you want it to be an eight ohm speaker or select one of your, your tap settings for how much wattage this speaker is gonna pull off a 70 or 100 volt uh, audio line. So with it on 8 ohm, you can connect this just directly to like your standard audio receiver, your zone two on your home theater receiver, put a couple of these on your patio out under your eave, um, and you're gonna get nice outdoor sound. Now, when you select one of these taps, you're gonna take part of that wattage off of your, your 70 volt amplifier. You know, if you've got this set on 10 and you've got a 50 watt uh, amplifier, you could theoretically run five of these in parallel without having to worry about uh, how many speakers are, are in and series parallel and doing weird calculations for your, your resistance and your ohms. Um, so it makes it a lot simpler for that. Now, the great thing with these, it's a, just a dial. You can select what you want, uh, and that's it. The terminals on here are a kind of plated corrosion resistant, but they are a spring type terminal. So this is gonna be more common in a consumer grade speaker where you push this down, put your wire in, and the spring holds it. Uh, over time, this spring could end up kind of fatiguing. You may have a little bit of issue with corrosion and overall, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this. Um, but again, this is gonna be something that is more consumer oriented for simple install. Um, you can snap this cover back on. And again, this works both horizontally and vertically. Um, so depending on what you are doing, you can actually mount this cover to go so that you're not getting water in your, your terminal connections. Now, this speaker is a plastic, like an ABS, um, and it has a, a steel grill with it and a powder-coated uh, steel bracket. This has notches on it, so it kind of locks into a given position. Um, it has the little teeth that grip in, so you can set this to different angles and it will hold there nicely. Uh, depending on what you're doing, 
with these, you know, they being put up under an eave or something, uh, so it's not just getting direct uh, weather on them, um, or even being put on something like a, a pergola kind of post, something outdoors like that. Uh, great option that is very inexpensive uh, compared to a lot, of, a lot of the other models. Now, the closest thing kind of to this in the, the consumer line is something like this. Now, this is an A6T from Bogan Communications. Um, they are also available from Near Audio. Near is kind of the, the daughter company, if you will, of, of Bogan. And they're going to be pretty much identical. Uh, the name may change on them. But this is a true all-weather commercial grade speaker. Uh, this is something you're going to find in theme parks, high-end venues, um, places where they're using a lot of speakers and they need them to last a long time. Your primary dis difference between uh, the commercial and the consumer grade speakers, uh, like the OSD one, is going to be, one, this has a plastic grill. So that may seem like a downgrade over the uh, residential kind of consumer grade with the steel grill, but this is going to be more resistant to salt air around beaches, outdoor bars, things like that, or if you're doing something around a pool even, um, especially something like an indoor pool. Uh, this is not going to be affected by the chlorine, whereas if you end up with a nick or dent or something or an imperfection in your powder coating or your painting, that kind of corrosion proof covering on something like a steel bracket or grill, that's where you're going to start running into issues. You're going to end up with kind of rust going down and, and making the speaker look non-maintained and, and old, or you're going to end up with parts kind of starting to fail or, or fatigue um, over time. The Bogan Communications here has stainless screws holding this grill on, again for corrosion resistance, and then the bracket is another big difference here. This bracket is a heavy duty aluminum bracket. It is kind of one piece bent aluminum. Um, for ease of access and installation, you're gonna find a little bit of difference here too, where these brackets actually have a, a kind of slide in component that allows you to mount the bracket first and then just place the speaker into it. These are also a a kind of 360 degree um, bracket where this is going to allow you kind of an infinite adjustability. Um, and this infinite adjustability may be a detriment to some people, it, it may be a benefit, but you're going to be able to adjust this to any angle, um, horizontally, vertically, and not worry about the little notches that things are catching in. Now, the next big difference with these is this is a transformer model. This is the A6T. The 8 ohm is just an A6, um, and they've got these in 8 inch. Uh, they've got them 4 inch, 6 inch, dual 6 inch. But you have to specify that you want the transformer 70 volt model to start with. This is not something you can change later. There is no dial on the back of this. If you spec this for a 70 volt system, it is a 70, 100 volt speaker. This is not generally a problem in commercial installs. When they design something for install, they are designing it according to a plan. They know how many speakers they're gonna want, where they're gonna be, and why they're using what they're using. So you're gonna end up with a 70 volt line for long distances or a lot of speakers, and they don't need to switch to 8 ohm. They're never gonna need that setting. It's, they're buying these for what they are, and that's it. But just something to be aware of, especially if you're getting these on the used market somewhere like eBay or something like that, you may not be able to use this with your amplifier. If you were to get an A6T and not understand the difference, that that T is the transformer, you may end up with a speaker that needs a 70 volt uh, amplifier and you don't have one. Now, these terminals on here are a screw type terminal. Um, they are a gold plated, very corrosion resistant, and because they've got a screw down plate, they are in a lot more contact area than something like the Push Connect terminals. They're meant for long lasting install, 
to not be touched, you know, for quite some time. And you're going to adjust the wattage on this instead of by the dial, you've got a common and then three transformer taps on here to adjust how much wattage the speaker pulls from the amplifier. So if you want to balance this with another one, you can adjust how much wattage you're pulling off that 70 volt line to whether this one's going to be louder or quieter compared to your other installs. And these are, are going to be a set it and forget it thing. You'll wire it in to what you want, it's mounted, and it's done. As an option to this, they actually make a boot that goes around here and seals these connectors with the cable coming out um, so that this can be a true all weather. It can be directly out somewhere on a pole or somewhere where rain and wind is going to hit this, um, not protected necessarily under an eave, which with a lot of consumer grade speakers is probably something you're going to want. You're going to want them up under a pergola, up under uh, your, the eave of your house, somewhere more generally a little protected unless it is a fully sealed speaker. So that is again an option for this. Now one of the features you're going to find on a commercial grade speaker like this that you're not going to see on a consumer is this little hole right here which is a safety leash or safety cable mount. And this is gonna mean that you can connect a, a steel safety cable to the nearby structure. So if something happens with this bracket or with these clamps or anything, and this were to come loose, it's gonna catch on that safety cable and not come falling down on one of your patrons for your venue that could result in injury lawsuits. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a big deal compared to a residential setting where most likely these are going to be out of people's way, you're not going to have people walking under them, and it's not as big a concern generally. Um, so that's just a, a neat little feature you're going to find on a consumer grade speaker more so, or on a, a, a commercial grade speaker more so than a consumer. Now the next thing that can be a little bigger of a deal with these is with a commercial grade speaker, it's gonna be parts availability. Now, if you end up with damage to a grill or a blown speaker, bad transformer, the mount fails, something like that, with a co true commercial grade speaker, it's gonna be far more likely that you will be able to find replacement parts through your dealer or through the manufacturer to repair these. Whereas a at least a lower end uh, consumer grade speaker, they're probably gonna say just replace the speaker. You know, that's, it's not worth the parts and trying to repair them. They're not designed to be repaired. They're not assembled together. They're most likely glued. Um, and so with a true commercial grade, you're gonna be able to maintain the speaker rather than replace it. And probably for good reason, because the biggest difference is gonna be cost you're paying for all of these features. Um, and sometimes that's not necessarily cheap. However, there are residential speakers, consumer grade, that cost just as much as a commercial grade speaker. And they're gonna have a lot of the same features. They kind of bridge the gap between the commercial and the consumer grade. So the higher end in the consumer grade you go, the more likely you're starting to run into a lot of the uh, commercial grade features that make these cost a lot more. In the same vein, there are cheap commercial grade speakers that are going to lose a lot of the features and really resemble a low grade consumer grade speaker more. Now as another alternative here, we've got something called an Omni speaker, uh, usually from a company named TIC. And these speakers are very commonly found at places like Epcot in Disney World. Um, a lot of garden facilities uh, where your, your large commercial gardens and things for, for the public. And these are a wonderful speaker because they're generally buried. Now, these are going to be, they can be mounted, but they're generally buried up to about two inches below this kind of opening and the driver sits in here facing up and radiating outward. So these are omnidirectional, as their name uh, indicates, and 
these are gonna put 360 degree audio out around your property and be very easy to conceal with ornamental grasses, shrubs, um, and different things like that where they're gonna be a lot easier to hide. Um, again, these are a, a sunlight resistant. Um, they are this color throughout. It's gonna be a big thing to look for with a lot of the, the commercial grades too is UV stabilized, they're not gonna fade, they're not gonna yellow, and if you nick them when they're this color throughout the entire plastic, they aren't gonna show that nick, especially from a distance. It's gonna be the same color underneath as it is over the top versus a painted speaker or a painted grill. Now, these come in a couple different styles and types. This is a, a five inch, this is a mini Omni, um, and back here we've got kind of an, an 8 inch, this is your standard Omni speaker. Now they also available have subwoofers which are an 8 inch uh, that doesn't have the crossover or anything in it. It is an 8 inch driver that is designed for being a sub. Um, you can get those with a crossover in them to output to something like a couple of these 5 inch satellites. Um, that'll handle the high frequencies with the sub handling the lows. Um, or you can get them without the crossover in the subs designed for a separate sub amplifier. Uh, most of the time in a theme park setting, something like Disney, you're going to run into just the standard 8-inch um, omnidirectional speaker. And that's because they don't need super low end or they've got kind of fill subwoofers somewhere else. Uh, and then they've got... They just need general power handling and low, even sound all over. Now, Disney also uses a, a neat speaker known as a bollard speaker. This is one of their most common in places like Magic Kingdom, uh, and you'll even see them around Disney Springs a lot, where it is a kind of pole-type bollard uh, design that has a grill on either the front or front and rear. And these can be directional or 360-degree speakers, and they are designed really kind of per Disney's specs, um, and you're only really gonna see them used there. Other companies can buy them, as far as I'm aware. Uh, you, can, you can order them, but it's generally in large lots. It's not gonna be a couple speakers for your backyard, unless you can track down some on eBay or something that are heavily used. And those resemble these uh, in that they are designed to blend in more with landscape. They're going to be hidden in bushes and hidden in grasses and ornamental grasses and things and be designed to blend away uh, and provide general background noise. Um, they are not designed for all of your announcements and your clear dialogue and things for a lot of the shows that go on. So you will also see in a lot of theme parks, a lot of places like Disney, Speakers like this, especially if it's like the black version, they also have these in a green version so that you can blend them in with landscaping more. Um, and you're going to find these up on poles, uh, hidden behind facades on buildings that are acoustically transparent. And those are going to be more for your audio dialogue, for your parades, um, as well as your background music. They, they generally project more. Um, and have a lot more directional audio. They are not a 360 degree kind of volume level there. Now, all of these speakers will not do anything for you if you select the wrong one. Uh, the answer is not go with a commercial. If you've got the money, that's the one you want. It's not if you're consumer, go with a consumer grade. You want to pick the one that works best for you. So if you end up with a commercial speaker at your house, you could mount them under your eaves, have a couple of them, and you may have spent a lot more money to get all of these features that you're not using. So if you're only getting a couple of these speakers, for the same price as, say, a 5-inch, you might have been able to get an 8-inch consumer-grade speaker that doesn't have the features you don't need and is going to provide better audio quality and better low end than a whole bunch or a couple of these smaller like five inch commercial grade speakers. Um, there's a time and a place kind of for everything and you've got to select what you need 
the general thing is just get the best speaker from the best, most reputable brand that you can afford that fits within your budget and matches the aesthetics that you're going for. Uh, don't cheap out, it's gonna cost you. One thing that it's really gonna cost on is if you decide to go with a 70 volt system. Now with a speaker like this, it weighs significantly more than a speaker like this. And one of the primary reasons for that is gonna be the transformer and it's transformer quality. In order to save cost on a lot of these, when you have a 70 volt speaker, especially one that's dual purpose, they may end up putting a lower end transformer inside the speaker, especially if it's not really intended that they're gonna be used by the majority of people for that. So when you've got something that say like this OSD, it may handle high frequencies a lot better than it handles low frequencies on the 70 volt line, even if on the eight ohm setting with a standard amplifier, it sounds great and has a lot of low end. And that's because if you have a cheaper, smaller transformer, you're probably gonna be more likely to saturate it with low frequencies. Whereas a higher end commercial speaker may end up costing more, but if it's designed for 70 volt and really 70 volt only without the 8 ohm bypass, a lot of these have the money put into the transformer instead of the other settings and things that you're not gonna use. So you're gonna end up with a better low end on the 70 volt line because they have a higher quality transformer. So they can handle that low frequency more without saturating. Now with 70 volt, that's probably gonna be something that unless you really want to play with it as a hobbyist, it's gonna be for an installer. It's gonna be someone who has the meters and the setup to know what their loading is, or someone who designs these and installs them in even a residential setting, but they've gotta be planned out more. Um, so even though you can kind of just tap a speaker wherever you want to on the line and have it work, it does take a little bit of knowledge uh, about how you're installing them and the load on the amplifier and what you're actually getting for your money. Um, so if you're putting in a big install, commercial or residential, sometimes it's gonna be best to go with an installer that really knows what they're doing because they may seem like they're gonna cost more money, but it's gonna cost you a lot more money if you end up wasting all of it, getting the wrong speakers and having it sound like garbage and having to try and return them which after you've installed them may or may not be possible. So a lot of times you're better off doing your research and sticking with your general category. If you know it's gonna go under your eaves, you're gonna want something like a, a mounted speaker um, and probably a residential consumer grade quality speaker. If you know that it's gonna be under an awning or at a bar or restaurant, you may want something like a commercial speaker that's mountable. If you want something hidden in your garden or a large theme park, which you're probably not watching this video, you're gonna want something like an omnidirectional or a bollard speaker or all of the above. They're gonna be used wherever the setting is that you need that speaker for that specific application. So there's a lot of differences, a lot of similarities. Hopefully that helps out a little bit with kind of the main differences between them. If you like this video, like, subscribe. We're gonna try and put out more. Um, and hopefully that's, that's really helped you guys. You know, get out there, experiment, play with them, and just enjoy. That's what these are for.